Ellen Villa describes this style as an edgy bob. Hi everybody, my name is Alicia. Welcome to my channel. I want to thank Tracy Laird. Tracy is the owner of T.O. Wigs and I review wigs for her. She sent me this piece so that I could show it to all of us. So thank you, Tracy. The name of this style that I'm wearing from Ellen Villa is called Echo, and this is in the color Sandy Blonde Rooted. I'm going to tell you the color code, and we'll get into it, but first I want to turn around and show you this short little style. This is cute. We're going to get all into it. So... Let me tell you what the color code for this Sandy Blonde Rooted is. 24, 23, and a 16. It says medium honey blonde, light ash blonde, and lightest reddish brown blend with dark roots. So let's see if we can pick up on some of this lightest reddish brown. Very subtle. I mean, to my eye, I'm not even sure I can see any reddish brown. To me, you know, it just looks more champagne. But I mean, if there is, I'm not really seeing it. I don't know. Maybe they just mean some of this right here. But I just don't want you to picture red because I, I'm not seeing any red in this piece. This is a summer color, that's for sure. Okay, let me just get up here so you can try to see for yourself. And I will go outside and take a little video of what this color looks like outside, and I'll add it to the end of the video. Okay, you guys, let's talk about fit. I have a 22-inch circumference, and I'm 8 inches from the top of my forehead to the bottom of my chin. This cap is fitting me perfect, but I do not have a drop of room in it. Um... You know, my coverage is good. I'm going to show you the coverage. I mean, my coverage is actually fantastic. And the ear tab comes out just like I like it to for good coverage on the sides. You know, I always talk about that. It Coverage on the sides is just really important to me. And I shave on the side of my head right here. And so I never have to worry about it. But I know a lot of you have a hairline that comes out a little bit. So I always try to pay really close attention to what the coverage is like on the sides, just so that I can tell you, okay? But this one is great for a very average fitting cap. If you're a petite, this is actually listed as a petite average. If you're a petite, you might want to cinch it in a tiny bit. I haven't messed with the adjusters at all. They're just the way that they came for my average measurements, and it's fitting me perfect. But if you're a petite, you could cinch it in. But I'm just saying, if your measurements are any bigger than mine, and you know, mine are down in my description, um, I don't know if I would consider this cap just because it is such a snug fit on my very average measurements. Okay, I'm going to show you this lace front. I just put this on, you guys, not very long ago, and I looked at this lace front, and I was like, oh my goodness, <laughs> those light colors, and those knots, let me get up here, those knots come all the way down into the lace, very realistic looking, very realistic, see? Just like the hair is growing right out of our head. That is a fantastic lace front. The lace is temple to temple from here to here. But I just wanted to make a big deal about that lace front and this pretty light color. How good that looks. So we see the coverage. There's the lace front. Oh, I didn't talk about that darker root on this sandy blonde rooted. See the root? Just try to give you a really good look at the color. It's a pretty color. Really pretty. It's a tad bit shiny. You know, these are regular synthetic fibers. They're not heat friendly. They're a tad bit shiny, but 
not too bad compared to a lot I've seen. And you know, you can put some dry shampoo on it or, you know, wash it. Some people say wash them and it helps take the shine out. For me, I just wear them the way that I, they come a time or two. And I'll start to notice that shine dull a little bit. So that shine, it just doesn't bother me at all. Okay. She comes in eight colors. And I want to tell you guys too, because I hear this from you a lot. You'll ask me, does it come in a gray? You know, when I'm showing certain pieces, I have a lot of people ask me if they come in a gray. I'm going to start paying a little attention to that. And I'm sad to say this does not come in a gray color. I know it can be frustrating sometimes, you know, when you like a piece and you can't get it in the color that you want. But it does come in eight colors. I am just itching to get a little water on this piece. Let me spray a little water on here. I'll try to remember to put the stock photo up right here. I thought the stock photo was so cute the way that they styled it. And I'm going to take the cap off, you guys, and show you the inside of the cap in just a minute. But there's that left mono part over there. Just wanted to get in here and play with this one a little bit. I like these wispy. That is the real word. These fibers are so wispy and soft, and they're real, real light. What is this way? Oh my goodness, I didn't write it down, but I'll put it up here on the screen. I, I already know this, this weighs absolutely nothing. It's like a true feather on my head. There's not much hair on here. See the layers? The layers start in the back, come around the sides with this little bang. This is cute. <laughs> this is really cute. I don't think I can style it the way they had it in the stock photo, but we'll, we'll just move her around a little bit here. I've got her a little bit wet now, but... Sometimes just spraying a drop of water on them just will help to separate the you know, the fibers and help the hair get to moving around a little bit. That is just really pretty. Okay, let me tell you this real fast. She has a front of 4.25 inches, a crown 7 inches, her sides are 4 inches, and her nape is 1.5 inches. So we better look at that again because that's a really short nape. Let me, let me show you. Now, you know, that's right up my alley. I love a short nape, but I shave at the back of my neck. So, if you have a low hairline, you know, just, just be aware of your hairline when you're getting a piece that has a short nape of 1.5 inches. Just like to move the hair around so that you can see all about it. Okay, let's take this cap off. Temple to temple lace front. Temple to temple. Left mono part. It's a decent, you know, it's kind of wide there, so you could move that part around a little bit. Velvet lined ear tabs with a good metal stay. Velvet soft, soft nape with Velcro adjusters. And then she's open wefted. Um, I mean, no permatease. Just absolutely, I don't think I can feel any permatees in there. You know, there's just enough to cover the wefting and that sort of thing, but this is a very low density piece. I did want to tell you about how soft this cap is. This is just like a little pillow. I just love it when I get these like this because they're good for all day wear, you know. If you've got to wear a wig for 10 or 12 hours, These really soft caps, they are just wonderful for all day wear.
It's cute. You could pull her bangs up, you know, because she's got that gorgeous, stunning lace front. I like the lighter colors up there at the front. I think this is so youthful. Oh, now see, I like that. I haven't had a chance to really play with her either, so we're just doing it here together, okay? Okay, now I like this. You know, this is summer to me, just outside, doing whatever you're doing. It's hot. This is adorable. I'm getting a little better feel for her now while I'm doing this with you guys. I like it. There's her parting space. Okay, you guys, um, I'm going to leave a link for this piece down in my description. And if you click on it, that will take you straight to the T.O. Wigs website so that you can look at the colors that this piece comes in. And if you have any questions about it, you can always email support info at TLWigs.com. And Tracy Laird, the owner, she will help you with any questions or concerns that you might have. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope this helped. This is a really cute piece. Just really wispy and light. Okay, everybody. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. It's thundering out here, but let's get through this. So this is an outside look at the color. Sandy blonde rooted. Medium honey blonde, light ash blonde, and lightest reddish brown blend with dark roots. I can actually see that um, reddish brown blend better out here than I could in the house. Let me move it around so you can see. On this root I always think you can see color better when it's cloudy anyway it's pretty this lace front with these blonde colors it's just gorgeous Okay, <laughs> let me get my crazy hair. <laughs> Here's this color inside of my house, just in front of a window. Natural light.